I just kind of fell on my knees and started crying. Before she heard her own cries, Paula Andrews heard the cries of a newborn baby coming from the trash compactor at an Everett apartment complex Friday night. Don't know where he came from, but I'm just so glad God sent me there to find that baby. Paula says another woman first heard the cries but thought they were coming from a baby doll, but Paula felt something wasn't right. She called 911. In her Easter dress and high heels, she jumped in the dumpster full of garbage. I just had this motherly instinct. I just think that, uh, I think God was just telling me something. Don't stop. Keep digging. Find out. Make sure. Paula ripped away about 20 full bags of trash and lifted a large microwave to find the newborn baby boy underneath it, covered in blood with the umbilical cord still attached, but surprisingly alive. I just wanted to make sure it was not a doll. And I was totally shocked when I found out it was a baby. Medics quickly checked the baby out and warmed him up before rushing him here to Providence Regional Medical Center. There's always alternatives to what happened in this case, but the best alternative is uh, to care for the child and, and bring it to a place and, and get care together. Washington State's safe haven law protects a person from prosecution if they take a child less than three days old to any fire station or hospital. In this case, a fire station is just a three minute drive away from the dumpster. Paula is glad she could be there to save this child's life and hopes to be reunited one day. To find a baby in a dumpster, he easily could have been compacted. Um, he's got some meaning in life. There's some purpose for this baby. Police are working hard to figure out the mother or father of this child, and they're asking for the public's help. If you know anything in this case, you're asked to call police. Meanwhile, detectives have sent a DNA sample over to the state crime lab, and they hope to find something out soon. We're live in Everett. Tommy Aswinski, Q13 News.